Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. It is a beautiful sunny day here at the convent and I'm doing something that I don't normally do. I'm gardening. Um, so basically I've been clearing all the weeds under these beautiful roses. These roses were here when we bought the convent and they were just hidden completely under weeds and old trees and ivy. And so yeah, I've de-weeded this entire area and I've started planting hydrangeas. And these are sort of like multi-colored hydrangeas and I'm planting them between the roses. And at the same time, I'm putting wire up to support the roses and to sort of get them to start growing up the walls a little bit. So it should look really nice in a few years when these start growing these roses get really high and the problem is they get too heavy and then they sort of lean down and the wind gets them they snap but i think the wire is a great idea try and get some beautiful color on these walls so i've got a few more hydrangeas here i did order 30 but i've left half at the chateau but i've also got these lovely wisteria plants and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to add some greenery and colour to this very plain facade. So what I intend to do is remove some cobbles in this area here, plant the wisteria, put some wire up, and hopefully they grow. And what I'll do is we'll grow them up these columns either side, and then obviously between the other windows we can do that, and then between the other windows, try and grow them up on wire, and then along and then up again just to add some color like i said greenery to the very 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 plain facade of this building these need a trim now i was waiting for them to start getting a little bit bushy before we started trimming them blimey that one needs a haircut as well so we'll start doing that this week get those all trimmed up plant all the wisteria All of the wisteria plants are now planted. You can see where I have removed just a few cobbles. I dug down, trying to loosen the soil as much as I could, and I've put some nice clean soil on top. So yeah, that was actually quite easy. So essentially what I'm gonna do now is wait for them to grow a little bit, and then above the light here, I will add a steel ring which will screw into the stonework and I'll put wire all the way up and then as it grows I can literally just wrap it round and let it climb. The only issue is these lights, they're sort of in the way, however I think once the wisteria plant grows up and in front of it it might look quite nice, I'm not sure. Um, I was planning on installing lights further back, 
so you get a better diffusion of light on the front of the building. But yeah, I look forward to these little wisteria plants growing. Um, this part, or well, the facade of the convent gets light most of the morning and then as the sun goes up and around the height behind the building, it's normally in the shade. Um, so yeah, these mainly get light in the morning, not all day long. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. If there's any gardening experts out there, tell me if it's good or bad. Um, are they invasive? Do they grow quickly? I know they do sort of grow quite quickly and yeah, they need good drainage, but they need nice moist ground to be planted in apparently. That's what I've read. So hopefully they grow. Just hoping that that wisteria now grows, but we have another issue. Okay, so you've got the garage, that looks quite nice. But you've got this part of the building, which isn't so pretty. So in the past, this building here was done in about 19, 1910, something like that. This was added. And then this thing here with the two windows that look a bit well, not quite the same architecture as the rest of the building, was also added. And then, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the roof line up there, but it looks normal from the other side. So I'm thinking, <laughs> using the rest of the wisteria, we'll plant one here, and one the other side in the corner, and try and train it up to sort of hang over the windows a little bit without blocking out too much light maybe taking it up a bit further. Yeah, I think that would work. Because this is quite nice, the garage and this sort of room here, which I don't think I've ever shown. Okay, you probably can't see a single thing. Let me just adjust the ISO. There we go. So this little room, has a window and a door. Above it is the garage. So essentially it can be part of the garage or I don't know, it could even be like a gardening shed or storage, something like that. All the plaster's cracked on the wall, but the wall itself is fine. Someone's patched the floor up a bit. <laughs> There's all sorts of things in here. In fact, these shutters here go on the outside. Um, of one of the doors, so I think we should put those back. Both of them are there. There's a toilet, a radiator, old ceramic tiles, things like that. Thank you for all of the comments, everyone. So I think there was about 1,500 comments in total, and the majority of them said black. Um, there was a few conflicting um, comments about how we should do it. We could either use stove blacking stuff, which would look lovely, and I do have some, but this range cooker is never going to be used, or at least by myself. It requires way too much restoration. Um, so what I might do is try and match it with the other appliances. So it's sort of like a satin, almost a matte slash satin black. And I'm just going to use paint because it will come up with a lovely finish. The stove blacking stuff looks a little bit wishy-washy sometimes, but it is only really designed for um, functioning stoves where there's a lot of heat. Um, so yeah, and actually surprisingly, this cooker or this range cooker, apart from the ovens, the whole thing is filled with sand and it stops the heat from coming out and it sort of insulates it really. So it makes it quite efficient. Um, a lot of the sands has uh, sort of fallen out over the years, <laughs> especially in transport. But what we'll do is we'll leave all the lovely metal work here exposed. Obviously we'll leave all the lovely brass work exposed as well. We'll polish all that up. And then only in between, sort of here and here, here and here, we can paint that black and it will make a lovely contrast, I think. So yeah, thank you for commenting everyone. 
it does help. And I do like including everyone in this project and how things should look. So yeah, happy about that. While we're still in the kitchen, I thought I'd mention that obviously we're still waiting for the windows, but potentially we have a plasterer on board who is going to come and do loads of work to try and get this kitchen immaculately finished. So obviously just waiting for the window still. We can't do anything in here. Um, maybe a bit of ceiling work we could do, but ideally I wanna get the windows in first. Those sorted, reveals, finish the ceiling and have the whole room plastered rather than just tape and joint everything because you get a much better finish and a much stronger bond on all the joints. Um, yeah, so it's gonna come together pretty quickly, but um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the windows, I really want to get cracking in the hallway because we need to remove all of this concrete and expose the beautiful cobblestones which are below. And we're actually gonna raise them back to this level of the concrete. So this whole hallway will be cobblestones, will stud the walls, put insulation in, sort the ceiling out. Obviously we've got lovely oak beams now, rather than just chestnut. Um, the doors, something interesting may be happening with those. We may be replicating the doors at the chateau, possibly. I'm not sure exactly. We just need to get a quote from a blacksmith who does all that sort of lovely work. So we're gonna have two matching doors, which will be ironwork and glass. So there'll be lots of light coming through. So that's it everyone. A nice quiet bank holiday Monday here at the convent. At least we've got some gardening work done and hopefully that wisteria grows and it will sort of take away that harshness of all the stonework because there's so much of it in this courtyard. Yeah, just hope it, hope it grows. So thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you all tomorrow.